Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tebs. Welcome back to this channel. Today's repair is a higher 50 inches smart LED TV. It's turning on, the backlight lights up, but no image appears on the screen. I will show you how to fix it. If you're new to this channel and have you found it interesting, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell to you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. No image or video is mostly the T-Con has the problems. So I go direct to the T-Con and measure the voltages. Let's start with the 12 volt DC input. Measure it on this SMD fuse. Twelve volts is present. Let's measure DC to DC voltages. VGH is zero volt. Three point three volts is likewise zero. VGL is zero. And one point eight volts is zero volt. It seems all of the DC to DC converters are not working. Let's remove these two plat wires going to the panel and see if those DC to DC will turn on. Still no voltage of them. Now let's find if there is a short circuit. Finding a short circuit can be possible by setting your multimeter to continuity and tapping your negative probe to negative or ground, example the metal chassis of the TV and tapping your positive probe to every ceramic capacitor on the circuit board. If the two terminals of the capacitor beep, it means a possible short circuit.
VGH resistance is 532 ohms. That's not normal reading of the VGH. VGH is about 1 to 100 kilo ohms resistance. Looks like it is the problem. Let's try the analog multimeter. If using analog tap the positive probe to ground and negative to the target. It's about 40 ohms. Analog and digital is a different result. These two capacitors are connected to VGH, let's remove them and see if one of them is faulty. The resistance is still there, let's try the other one. The resistance is still there. This capacitor is also connected to VGH. And the resistance still remains. Let's trace where the VGH line is going. It's going to here. Up here. And to the other side and goes here. and to this capacitors. Let's remove these capacitors.
Looks like we have found the faulty one. Let's get a good capacitor and replace the faulty one. The capacitance is 10 microfarad. Let's go ahead and solder it. and resolder back the three capacitors. The resistance is gone. Let's try the digital. Let's put it back together and see if it will work.
seems working now. A few moments later. Now the TV is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. You can help this channel by liking it and subscribing. You can also give a super thanks hopefully. Once again this is Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.